you know when the mustache is out, it's gonna be a good video. So, what we have for you this week, YouTube, I made a mini bookcase with some nice barn doors, little customization there. Don't forget the soft close hinges, let's get that in action. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Anyways, that's going to be this week's video. I'm glad you clicked on the video. Don't forget to like the video. Leave a comment down below. Let's get into the build. YouTube, welcome back to this week's video. I got a cool one for you. At least I think it's cool. We're gonna be making a cookbook bookcase. So this is gonna be a little mini bookcase. Uh, the client is getting it for his wife as a Valentine's Day present. Today is February 4th. We have 10 days to get this bad boy done and ready to go. So nothing to it but to do it. My main material I'm gonna be working with is three quarter inch maple ply as our casing. So what we're going to be doing next is ripping two pieces at 10 inches wide and then we are going to cut that to our appropriate height which will be 33 and a quarter inch tall and then we're going to get to our backing and make that backing so we have a good strong outer shell. Alright so next up we have the table saw ready to go. We are going to be ripping our upper braces for our carcass and this is going to actually give it more support obviously as well as uh, give it give us a place to tie our top into so that's the point of this so Nothing to it but to do it As you can see now we are all insecured up top with our top braces I went ahead and marked out all my shelf locations on the inside of my carcass So the next thing I'm going to do is cut more three-quarter inch maple ply into our shelves uh, Dimensions they're gonna be 21 and a half inches wide and then they're gonna be nine and a quarter inch deep and here we are, all our shelves are now sanded and pocket holed ready to go. We're going to get these installed on our reference lines, so nothing to it but to do it. So you saw me put in the plugs on the back, now we are going to do some edge banding to all of our parts that are going to still be exposed once uh, our tops are on and our edgings on. Anyways, now what we are going to do uh, while the edge banding all kind of dries, I'm going to go get the material I want to use for the tabletop there. And we're also going to get a trim piece here, which is why I didn't edge band it. And then once we get our tabletop material um, and our trim piece, we are going to then uh, sand down all of our wood plugs on the back of this and get it ready to stain. Here we are all mocked up. Everything is in place. We got our trim piece on the bottom. The top is ready to be secured. We don't have it secured yet because I'm going to stain everything before I secure it. Here we are. We have our top stained. We're going to let that dry. And while that dries, obviously we have our carcass here. I'm going to take my measurement of my gap right here to start the process for my doors. We are going to be using some 1x5, cutting it to the appropriate length um, for the height of our doors, obviously. And then we will start to mill it down and get it ready for it to be the correct width. And then we're going to do a glue up of those doors and then we'll get some accent pieces going to make them look like barn doors. So nothing to it but to do it. So in the background you can see these are all of our milled pieces for our doors. We are now going to be securing our top to our carcass and then we're going to put together all of our doors with our trim accent pieces we have over here. I'm waiting to stain those because I want to nail gun them into place obviously on the doors. And then I'm going to put in wood putty so I can then sand them to be the same color. So that's why that process is happening that way, but less talking, more showing, right? And here you have it, our mini bookcase with some barn doors is complete. Everything went in nice and smooth. A little bit of a soft close hinge right there for you. All oh, that is the stuff. Hostess. If you don't catch that reference, I'm sorry. Anyways, that's going to be it for me for this week's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave a like on the video. Leave a comment down below. What could I have done better? Personally, I need help with miter angle cuts. So if you have any video references I could use for those, I'd greatly appreciate that. Uh, subscribe.
subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Don't forget, 500 subscriber giveaway will be happening. $50 Home Depot giveaway card can be yours. All you have to do is subscribe and follow the rules that are down below in the bio. That's it for me. Have a great day or night. Don't forget to keep God number one. Power stash of peace.